by enough. Uh, we'll see. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start an adventure here. This is Deep Dungeons of Doom. <laughs> Deep Dungeons of Doom. It is uh, available on Steam for, I should check this first, 549 Canadian. The world has fallen into darkness. Foul demons and vicious monsters dominate the lands of men. There are few souls brave enough to face this evil. Next, please. Now, King... Ola Olavis? Olavis? Bids you seek and destroy the source of this man. Look, this mo this font is really much read much more readable on the OBS preview because it's like smaller. <laughs> Brave, confident, and rather self-righteous, you are the king's last hope to save his people. Fear not, Crusader, for the gods are on your side, right? I sure hope so. For your first test, the king's guards have discovered that a demon called Pitch Black has nested in the castle sewers. And it is said that this demon is responsible for the deaths of thousands, and worryingly, all who have faced it in combat have been torn apart. The king requests that you demonstrate your valor, seek out and slay this beast, save the castle from a terrible doom, and prove his faith in you is not misplaced. Get ready to die, Crusader. Press right or D to attack. I hit left. Wait for your cooldown for attacking again. Cool down, ready to attack. Press enter or click anywhere to continue. There's another attack, and another attack, and another attack. Alright. Press down or S to move to the next level. Sure. I can help you. What do you require? I require a blessing. Here's my blessing. I don't know what we got from that, but, uh, that's pretty sick, right? Oh, you have to, like, if you just mash it, then it's actually, like, pretty bad. Pay attention to your opponent to time your defense. Take that, what are you gonna do with that, huh? You just got your first dungeon bonus, killing monsters awards you dungeon bonuses which enhance your base stats. Dungeon bonuses only apply to the dungeon you get them in, they are reset when you leave a dungeon. Uh, attack increases your damage, extra health allows you to take more damage, magic is used to activate items with special powers, and agility lowers your cooldown period. Of course you go counterclockwise because I'm a monster. <laughs> uh, we'll go for attack of course. You found some loot, press right or D to grab it. You press spacebar anytime during play to so use it. I got an item. Uh, some items also give you passive bonuses and or penalties just from carrying them. Press enter or click anywhere to continue. Press the stats button or C to check what your new loot does. C. Boost potion. On use, plus one agility for two floors. Holy blessing, plus one agility, plus one attack will expire in 35 seconds. Uninterested. We got, a, we got a big boy here. His enemies are very tough but have weak spots. Find their vulnerability to strike them to gain an advantage. That, that's probably his weak spot, right? I thought that was going to be his attack, but that's probably his weak spot. You gotta time it right. So it's important you time it right. Kind of a weird boss thing. I thought that maybe... Uh, don't need the mouse. No, I have to leave I have to leave the mouse on screen. I can't move it off screen because I have like mouse on hover stuff. Unless I do this. No, it's gonna put my mouse there. I'll, I'll put it at the bottom. Okay, it's kinda out of the way there, right? That's the best I can do, I'm sorry. And so after some effort, Pitch Black has defeated the king and a display of gratitude orders a feast in your honor, but while you would have liked the rest, there are more pressing matters to attend to. Hail, I am the king's messenger, sent to you to guide and reward your efforts. Though Pitch Black lies defeated, there are far greater challenges ahead of you. Succeed in your tasks, and you will have fame and riches both. I like fame, I like riches. Unlock a new skill for the Crusader. Do I have to move? Do I have to click on these? Or can I, uh... Keep your place. I'm probably gonna want to go to this one, right? So we have 33 gold. Uh-huh. 
so we can we can get at most the uh, this once we have the gold for it. We don't have the other stuff. Um, this is cleared. I guess we can go on to the next one. Crusader, ah, finally a place to rest. Excuse me, brother. Could you please inform your ab, uh, brother? Hello, corrupted priest. Is that are those E's or A's? Tenebrarum. Ah, uh, this is Latin. I cannot. I think this is Latin. I can't speak it. Tenebrarum ut in dolor semper moniat. Something like that. Oh, bugger. I can't speak that, man. Whatever, whatever it is. Okay, so that's his attack. I guard it. You cannot stop me. I'm unstoppable. Got an attack. Okay. That's his guard. Alright, alright. I'm starting to feel it. He's gonna attack again, or he would have, but... What are you talking about? Of course I go for an attack. You just got a piece of equipment, and equipment gives you passive bonuses and or penalties, and is automatically in use as long as you carry it. Go. What do we got? Buff from wielding helm. Plus one max HP and plus 10% resistance to all. That, that's too many numbers to look at. <laughs> it's, too, it's too many numbers. Okay, as long as you time these right, I think you can actually get off the two, and then he'll attack. I believe. Small health potion tastes good. That's probably gonna be a nice healing thing. Of course I go for power. You want me to go for health? I'm not some kinda I mean yeah, I only have one hit point left, but like as long as I just don't take damage, it's fine, right? That's gonna do it, right? Yeah, look at that. I mean I guess maybe we should chug the health potion rather than die. I mean, let's not get too good to use syndrome here, right? Too good to use syndrome is a, is a big problem in the gaming world, where uh, you feel like something's too good, so you don't want to use it, and then you end up dying, and you beat the game without it, and you never used it, and you could have used it many a time, and uh, you just you never did. So now you're dead. I feel like this shrine shouldn't be here. I don't know what it does, but I'm going to go ahead and use it. Your blood shall be your shield. No one hears you. Your blood shall be your shield. What are we... Contract the shield on use, pay 3 HP plus 30% resistance to all for 3 floors. I mean, why not take it, right? Oops, we messed that one up, so we're going to have to uh, tank this one here, and then take a couple of shots here. Alright, I'm kind of I'm kind of learning this. I'm kind of learning the game flow here. I'm learning the game flow. Got hello, Devil's Contract. On use, pay eight HP, plus six agility, plus six attack, plus sixty percent resistance to all. Like, I like it. We're definitely not gonna have eight HP, so no use to even using that. Oh my! It, hit, it hits twice. Some kind of weird cockatrice thing. Like, I just I want to. Unholy Potion, on use, lose up to 6 HP, plus 7 Agility, and plus 7 Attack. Sure, I want the, the Healing Potion, though. So. Do you want to know more about the Altars? Altars are where you exchange gold for enhancements. There are three Altars, so don't spend all you got in one place. <laughs> Down we go. Loot. Buy a Potion, it's just 60 gold. I don't have 60 gold, so we'll go ahead and say no. Medium health potion. Buy a potion, it's just 30 gold. I want to spend my gold elsewhere, so no. Okay, so let's not get fooled by this guy this time. Block him, and block him again. I'm better than you. You cannot stop me. It's time to meet your fate. No one hears you. Can I... what do I do here? Oh, you can go up, too. Okay, so this guy's got a weak spot, obviously. 
That's his weak spot. Beat on him. There we go. Alright. I have mastered this game. I cannot be defeated. Cannot defeat me, Mr. Skull Hydra. Skull Hydra is not worth nothing to my iron helmet. 4,726 points. That's a lot of points. Die, foul beast. Wait, don't hurt me. I'm no demon. Not sure. You look pretty evil to me. I can make it worth your while if you spare me. Cut the crap. I won't be fooled by your dirty tricks, demon. No, really, you need me. I know stuff. As he speaks, you realize this poor sinner does have valuable information about a dungeon. A deep dungeon where all of the foul evil that stalks the land issues from. And despite all your praying, fasting, and emphatic requests to be left alone, the sinner decides to join you, claiming that he is the only one who can get you inside the deepest dungeon of doom. New career unlocked. The mercenary is so skillful with his blade that you can barely see his moves. But such nimble arms can't handle a bigger sword. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's go check out the shop. We can buy whatever this is, right? Sure, we'll, we'll, we'll use Mr. This boy. And we'll even unlock that. Why not? What does it do? I didn't even read it. Maybe I should have checked out this first. It's all good. It's all good. So we're going to obviously take this boy to the mountain graveyard. The mercenary leads the group uphill as you search for the path to the altar of the dead gods. The legend says he who passes through the gate alive shall meet with the dead. That and something about a giant invincible undead warrior who guards the gates. Having come this far, there is nothing else for it but to continue on, despite the very bad feelings you are now having. Get ready to die, mercenary. I'm not gonna die. So this is, like, not very good, honestly. Presumably, you'll have, like, poison or something like that to start adding on to it. Um, also, you do attack a fair bit faster, so it is kind of nice to have the, uh... The ability to like attack and then also block is uh, I guess I counterattack three times. Choose the agility dungeon bonus five times. Okay, sure. Uh, potion of life, so plus five percent much. On use plus three max HP. For I don't have. I don't even have HP. You want me to have max HP too? Get out of here, dude. Okay, so that's his uh, evade or block. It's uh, it's just a little bit annoying because uh, as the mercenary, we don't have much damage. Magic potion. On use, gain six magic. Like I just, I don't, I don't know what magic is used for. So. You know, it's all fine and dandy until you realize that magic is useless when I can't use it. I can have, you know, all the magic in the world. I still took it, because, uh, I mean, what, you want me to not take it? Rebirth? Since when can skeletons be rebirthed? I haven't heard about this. What are you? Weird floating ghost boy? Well, that was not the right moment for that. Not the right moment for that either. Can I get rebirth? Okay, I didn't mean to chug the potion. I meant to go down, and instead I chugged the potion. Very simple mistake. You know, easy to do. Anybody could do it. You hit space instead of S. It's uh, it's a common mistake, really. Anybody anybody could make that. 
This game is kind of like, uh, it's really it's a rhythm game when it boils down to it. You know, you gotta learn the rhythm for all of the different uh, enemies. And then, uh, execute the rhythm. Alright, so this guy is attack, 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 block, and attack, attack, block, attack, attack, attack. Probably another attack there. Guess maybe they do have a little bit of randomness with them, but uh, it doesn't seem like most of them have randomness, so it seems like you can pretty much just get into a rhythm with it. Okay, well, we gotta die eventually, right? At some point, we have to die. Okay, I don't know what we just did there, but I, uh, I can allow it. Yeah, like this guy's just an attack. Go back and forth, we'll chuck the health potion, why not? It's a cute little game, honestly. I'm, not, I'm definitely having uh, a good time with it, I would say, personally. Yeah, we'll chuck that as well. Okay, we didn't get anything out of that, unfortunately. But that's okay. You don't have to get something out of it every time, right? So does this guy have a pattern? It's gonna go like fast and then attack, and then I'll get a couple of attacks off here. Yeah, yeah he, has, he has a pattern. Okay, here we go. This is probably a wand. So pay three magic gain, one HP deals two normal damage to opponent. Cool, I'm into it. Yeah, yeah, no, they're 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 all patterns. Some of the patterns are just a little bit longer, but uh, they're still all patterns. You just gotta you gotta learn the patterns and then. Uh, Good to go. This is gonna be an attack, 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 block. Uh, one attack here and then a block. And then an attack, so evade, attack, 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 and block. Yeah, so we get attack off, get another attack off, and block. Yeah. Yeah, I've mastered the game. I have mastered it. You cannot stop me. What is that? It's not a wand. I want a wand. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, and block. One, two, three, four, five, and block. Very simple. Five attacks and a block. At least with my agility and this character, anyway. We somehow managed to evade an attack there, too. I don't know if we've learned about evade mechanics, but... I'm liking the wand. I did just use it there. It was a little bit of health used up. Ah, I was just looking at the health stuff and I missed the attack. Gosh darn it. Gosh diggity darn it. What do we got? I feel faster. I don't know what I feel faster means, but... I guess I'm got an agility bonus, maybe? From the magical torrent of doom? That's okay. I'm, I'm okay with the, the... I would like to commentate more, but, like... It honestly... It takes it takes a good bit of... Of thinking and, and... Responding to what's happening on screen. To be able to, uh, to actually visit two shrines without praying at them. It takes a, it takes a, a decent bit of, of focus to be able to beat this. It's not, it's not a very, uh, easy game, honestly. It's, it's actually got, uh, 
definitely got got its shared difficulty going on here, you know. This guy uh, is a little bit easier because I've kind of mastered the uh, the pattern on him. But uh, like when I'm playing against an enemy I haven't mastered, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a little bit tricky. Like this guy I haven't I haven't figured out the pattern on him yet, so uh, I can still take some damage to him. I gotta still pay attention. I should try and figure out the patterns on them, but. I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh wait, what's this thing? Buff from wielding heroes are plus one max HP plus one agility plus ten percent resistance to physical damage. Dope. No effects. Obvious choice. Give me the the uh, the sword 100% of the time. It's an obvious decision to make. I mean, to get nothing or or some damage and agility. I mean, come on, kidding around here, pulling my leg. This isn't funny, yo. I'm gonna go for agility. I'm kind of liking the whole agility thing. We're gonna have to pick up some damage on the next one because it's gonna like double our DPS to get some damage right now. To go from one damage to two damage is gonna be a big jump. Especially with how quickly we're able to attack, too. Getting that uh, that damage upgrade is, is going to make a big difference. Going for two or even three damage would be huge. So the next one that we get is definitely going into damage. We just we need that damage really, really badly right now. Hopefully we get another one before the end of this video. I would like to get that and start to uh, annihilate everything in existence. This is exactly what's going to happen once we get it, you know that. As soon as I get that, uh, that plus damage, we're going to be annihilating everything. Double damage against these guys? Come on, don't even pull my leg there. It's, it's going to be a joke. Give me that. Yes, please, and thank you. Oh, right, this dude is... Uh, a little bit tricky. Back and forth here. Well, not tricky so much as uh, tedious. Maybe I can get two off. Maybe if I did it well. I think he only attacks when I attack, right? Yeah, it only looks like he only attacks if I attack, really. Or he'll attack faster. Of course I'm gonna pray. I know that I have like the achievement to try and pray at it. I'm gonna pray. I'm not I'm not messing around here, I'm praying. Gotta get that shot off when he uh, when he rears his horse. That's the most important one. It's double damage. I'm not sure if it's double damage or plus one, but uh, for me right now it's the same thing. I guess that's the weak spot, so not only bosses have weak spots, but even the, uh, the regular enemies, but um, perhaps with the regular enemies they're less important, or at least less noteworthy. See, this guy is the uh, the hard one. We're going to be getting an attack in a moment here, and another attack, and then we'll uh, repeat the process with the shield, and then an attack, and an attack. Okay, I've mastered him. Attack. Attack. Ah, oh, I almost had it. Come on. Oh, I, I should have gone for the block. I knew that, too. Okay, there we go. Okay, we made progress. We did get to the attack. Which is good. So we should be doing double damage now. Yeah, look at that. Nothing can stand between us and victory now. This is huge! Everything will be dying twice as quickly. Uh, yeah, I'll use that and then I'm taking my, my wand back. You're different! Yeah. 
You were different. But don't think I haven't mastered you. I've already learned your patterns. These are the same thing? They are the same thing. Hey, I don't get a bonus for getting another one. This guy's not different. He's the same. Yes. It would appear to be the case. He does appear to be exactly the same as his previous uh, counterpart. Although he does have some... Uh, some damage resistance, it would appear, so we're only doing one damage, despite having the, uh, the damage bonus from the uh, level up. This guy doesn't stand a chance. Oh yeah, it's double. It's double damage. Oh, what? Oh, that one... They make you think he's the same, and then he's not. That one hurts me deep inside. All right, uh, that's gonna do it for today, though. This is we're gonna exit the dungeon. Really quick, this dungeon, yeah. This has been Deep Dungeon of Doom. It's available for five forty nine on Steam, which would be probably five bucks American. Um, honestly, it's quite good. It's a little bit tricky. It's a little bit challenging. Um, Perhaps I was playing it wrong. Maybe I should have gone for more damage over agility, and I was uh, I was I was brought in by the noob trap. Or maybe I need more health, perhaps. Or maybe the the mercenary is just a little bit tricky. Who knows? Um, but it is a uh, it is a fun game. It's a, I like the art style. The font could be a little bit better in my opinion, but what can you do, right? Not everything's perfect. Five bucks, solid experience. Definitely. Definitely enjoyable, worth getting. Um, but that's gonna do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, like and subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.